what I say. Let's go. When I did it without you, get out of here. Bulk season, baby. You don't need to be skinny in the winter. Alright guys, welcome to the video. Uh, in this video, because it's Christmas, I want to kind of go over a couple things. Hopefully to help you guys not get, uh, you know, some unwanted body fat during Christmas. I am blind. Should I hit this guy? 20 points. He's a big fella too. 6'4". That's like 50 points. Look at this guy. Can I just get uh, two small black coffees, please? And that is everything. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Oh my God, what is going on here? How's it going? Yeah. Perfect. Oh. Can I also pay for the people behind me? Sorry? Can I pay for the people behind me? Uh, if you want to. Sure. It's Christmas. Fuck it. Sure, that's it? Damn. What about the one behind them? How, how much is their order? No, seriously. Sure, tell them to pay it forward when they come to the window. Go Oilers, 100%. Beautiful. And that's all the orders. Yep, thank you boss. Have a good one. That's all the orders. <laughs> what? Buddy, buddy's buddy's like, chain oh, reaction. I, buddy's like, can I order something too? That's what I'm saying though. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? That's awesome. Good. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Bye. Cheers, go Oilers. That's what I'm saying, man. It's the little things in life. Give back, it's Christmas. Hopefully your mother's taught you well. To always give back. Friends, family, strangers, McDonald's people, it doesn't matter, all right? Do what you can, when you can, whenever you can. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just I know it's, uh, I know it's a tough time for a lot of people, especially when there's a lot of goodies, you know, grandma's cooking, shit like that. And, uh, it's very easy to put on 10, 15 to 30 pounds over Christmas if, uh, if you eat a bunch of food. So, I'm gonna go over a couple things in this video, uh, while we, you know, vibe and just chill in this video. Because it's Christmas, I want to have a good time. And um, yeah, hopefully some things help you guys, you know, stay lean or stay on track during uh, during the holidays. So I'm going to drink this coffee. We're going to go to the gym. We're going to have fun today. Right, Tyler? You know it, baby girl. Cheers. I get a haircut every week, bro. I gotta be fast. For real, guys, if you have any uh, insecurity about your face, about body dysmorphia, it'll happen, okay? You don't want that to happen over Christmas, so there's certain things that you do to not get fat during Christmas. <laughs> We're doing higher rep today because big thing actually in the gym to not get chubby is to work not only your muscles but also your cardiovascular system. So in terms of weightlifting and lifting weights, that's usually gonna be upwards towards 10 to 15 reps because you're gonna be working, your sets are gonna be longer, right? So you're working more of your heart and your muscles at the same time. So what you're saying is do cardio. Do cardio. So do the opposite of what I do. Okay, so 3 a.m. sessions are <laughs> optimal. Is it still there? Is it still there? Where is it? I I'm trying it? to get... <laughs> Did I get it? Okay, point at it, point at it. That's okay. why you use liquid chalk, bro. Is that green light on? Oh, I'm of blind. course. I'm blind. <laughs> I know I said train your cardiovascular system, but for the most part, weightlifting, like <laughs> your last couple of exercises, if you're working the 12 to 15 reference, stop fucking laughing. <laughs> That's when you should be doing that shit. My first couple compound movements, that's when I go super heavy. Probably gonna go for like a four or five, 315, see how she goes. I need that bitch for six by the end of the bulk. Or else I'm gonna kill myself. I am crap. <laughs> I 
I need this for five. Don't even help me. If I don't get five, just leave it, okay? Yeah. Like, let him, let, him, let, him, hey, let him drop it on his neck, right? What I say. Let's go. That's huge. Let's go. I was like, bro, come on. Let's go. When they did it without you. Get out of here. not get fat over Christmas as a regular civilian who doesn't work out or let's say you just clicked on this video you personally regular as Joe you know what would you say to the general population what would you personally do to not get fat over Christmas well just keeping active over the holidays a lot of people just sit around and like they just sit at home eat drink spend time with family which is all fun and games but so maybe go for like a 20 minute walk in between meals or something yeah. so you have four meals in a day with your family after yeah. breakfast you and Jim your uncle big old Jim big fucking guy Maybe he's got a, you know, beer belly. Go for a little 20 minute walk, go well, back, you know what? Like, hit the liquor store real dude, quick. Dude, dude. Creational activities. Go skating with your family. Yeah. Dude, skating Go outside so and calories. go sledding, man. You know how hard it is running up and down those hills? Yeah. Going down is all fun and games, man. You got to get it back up. <laughs> yeah. That's the hard part. We're talking about sledding, by the way. <laughs> In terms of the eating, try not to snack if you don't have to. Okay, snacks are literally your biggest enemy, especially when you're gonna be having, let's say, three, four big ass meals. So obviously there's gonna be chocolate, there's gonna be all that shit, but try and keep it to a minimum. If you can, I would say like two snacks during the day on top of your three big meals, you should be okay. But let's say those two, three big meals are absolutely massive. Try not to have any, leave it to the drinks, okay? Because obviously you're gonna be drinking during the holidays, who isn't? That's gonna add up a lot of calories as well. So if you can, obviously don't try and drink your calories, but you can't really avoid it during the holidays. Substitute your pops or diet pops. Yeah, like, yeah. it well, is, diet, it, it diet is, drinks. It, it diet is drinks. a big thing, yeah. yeah. Diet drinks, people. Don't be stupid, Eat your calories. Hey, why? and they were doing flies and more back. 20, 20 to 22 working sets. That's kind of optimal for volume, I guess, but you're getting strong. In terms of programming over the holidays, strategically place your workouts around your eating. So if your gym's open, get a workout in. If your gym's not open, like I said, like go for walks, do that type of shit. But at the end of the day, like you gotta enjoy yourself, especially you don't you don't get that much time off. So it's not that big of a deal because let's say you 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 slack off for seven days out of 365. That's literally nothing, right? So do your programming, but if you can wake up earlier, you know before Santa comes because he shows up at what 8 a.m. usually. Yeah, buddy. Wake up maybe 5 a.m. Get in early. 
do what you can. Get some cardio in. Do some hit hit training, high intensity interval training. You're gonna burn more calories that way. It's gonna be less duration too, so you don't have to like focus on it that much. Yeah, have fun. But I'm still lifting heavy. I'm gonna deload too during Christmas. So January 8th. Set it on your calendar. The cut begins, okay? The shreds are coming. I'm gonna be fucking insane, bro. Do you have any words for Seabum? He's only 6'2", I'm what, 6'4", so it's not even comparable. It's yeah, kinda hard. he kind of looks like a bitch compared to yeah, you, hey? Just, what, has he only got four titles? Four Olympias? <laughs> what do I got? Uh, what do you got? <laughs> This thing is, bro. Look at this. Look how cute this fucking tree. Look at it. Tis the season to be jolly. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, new book. Shout out David, my father. See how cold it is outside in this beer. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at it. What the hell is this? What the hell is this, huh, bro? Oh my god. Look. The buildings. The buildings are brumming. A brum is a fart, by the way. Oh my god. I don't even wanna. Ah, nah, nah. Nah, fuck this shit, bro. This thing's so sexy, bro. Look at this thing. All right. So Christmas is in two days, and because Christmas is in two days, it is the time of giving, okay? It's the time to give back. My mother taught me right. My mother raised me right. She always said to give back as much as possible during Christmas. So for one person that comments on this video, I'm giving $50 cash, okay? Just comment. You can comment as many times as you like, unlimited entries. I'm gonna pick one of you to send $50 cash. In the next video, I will announce that. I'm also gonna give $100 gift card for huge supplements, huge supplements. I work with huge supplements. This is basically all supplements I take from like protein powders, vegan protein, uh, pump caps, pump serum, pre-workout, they have an essentials line, all the vitamins you need, such as like, um, you know, multivitamin, fish oil, stuff like that. So, so if you guys do wanna pick up anything from that, just use code TURB, and I'm pretty sure there's some Boxing Day sales going on for the holidays. So, uh, unlimited entries, comment as many times as you possibly can, as, as many times as you want, really. And last but not least, because two winners, that's just not enough. Okay, that is just not enough. I'm gonna give another person a big fat kiss. Okay, so, peep fit. Peep the fit. Lazy day fit. How we doing? How we doing? Huh? Ah. Hopefully, you guys can implement some of the things that I do so that you don't blow up like, uh, you know, uh, Pillsbury Doughboy during Christmas. Okay, because obviously, you want to enjoy yourself. Christmas is a time to enjoy with your family and friends, eat good food. Um, you know, grandma and grandpa, they make food on purpose to get you fat. That's their job, okay? If you have a, you know, Ukrainian grandmother like myself, her main goal during Christmas is for you to gain 20 pounds. So, because you're not going to be having only one serving, not only two, probably not three, you're going to have probably four to five servings of food every single day during Christmas Eve, Christmas, through the holidays. Regardless if you are cutting or if you're bulking like myself, during the holidays and during Christmas, hopefully some of these things can help you out. Now, a lot of people are uh, Grinches out there. And they don't even celebrate Christmas. So, if you're one of those people, get the f out of my channel. Christmas is a beautiful time. Beautiful time, especially when you have a fucking sick ass tree. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Are you kidding me? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a box. Because it is the season of giving, I know I'm already giving away like two things, technically three with that kiss. I'm gonna be doing a Young LA giveaway in the new year. I think I'm just gonna keep it not for this video, so stay tuned for that. But there's a lot of stuff in this, but the only thing I really care about is this. The only thing I care about. God, man. Apparently there's like 20 different Compartments in this thing you guys are into you know smuggling anything across any border This is probably the bag you want to get just saying culture the laptop slit bam see that Just like so This is the biggest MacBook 16 inch. There's also a shoe compartment at the very bottom you guys uh, live somewhere like Canada You don't want to bring dirty ass shoes in Look at that Right there, okay? Or if you don't want to put shoes in there, you can put some crack, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna rock this shit. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? 
Am I getting laid if I, if I wear this thing? So I think I'm gonna wear uh, this. Let's see this fit. This. Oh yeah. All right. Every time, man, supplement companies, or even huge supplements, okay, hear me out. Put the scoop, man, like, make like a little tiny handle, you know what I'm saying, and put it like right there. I think that would just make our lives so much easier. Like, where the fuck? Where is it? Now, if we're still talking about protein, like, not just the protein supplement, but protein itself, I would highly suggest, like I mentioned, with having protein, like, to make up most of your plate. Like, if you grab a plate, okay, we're gonna use this for an example. You see this? See this lovely plate. So you're gonna cut it in half, okay? We're gonna cut it in half diagonally. All of this should be protein. And then this can be like the stuff you wanna try, you know, grandma's progies, grandma's bean salad, whatever you fancy, okay? It doesn't matter. If you fill up at least half of it and you eat that half first, you're gonna be so full. And then the other half, maybe you can give to your dog or you can, you know, maybe you can sneak it on the table, give it to your pet hamster, whatever you got in your house, right? Because you're getting full so much quicker, it's gonna be easier to not go for seconds or not grab snacks, if that makes sense. Again, it's not that big of a deal, but I, I feel like a lot of people, they stress about like Christmas and shit like that. I don't know why, man. Like, bro, if you are really that stressed about Christmas and getting fat over the holidays, you're probably fat going into the holidays. If you're that concerned about your progress during Christmas and seeing family, for one, enjoy the moment, man. Like, if you're with your family and friends, it doesn't matter. Have good food. Have good conversations with the people around you. That's what it's all about. Don't care about what you're putting into your body. At the end of the day, it's a couple days, man. Like, don't overstress it. But what I typically do is I will fast in the morning. I will do cardio. I will do high intensity interval training circuit. Usually after my workout, I will have a really, really hard training session like I did today. Like tomorrow, I'm gonna have all my Christmas, you know, get togethers, all that shit. So I'm gonna be eating like a pig tomorrow. So I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow, probably five, 6 a.m. Hit a workout in the morning, hit my cardio. Probably gonna do that fasted as well. You don't have to, it's not optimal to do the workout fasted, but I'm just saving my calories for later on. And at the end of the day, like it's not that big of a deal, but it will, it'll just make me feel mentally better if that makes sense. But I don't know, just little things like that guys will help you so much in the long run, especially um, if you want to minimize your impact on your body, but it's it won't be that big of a deal, especially if you're preparing ahead of time. So anyways, this is uh, the meal right here. What I strategically do, and I recommend uh, you know a lot of you do, if you are watching your calories, watching your food intake, that kind of thing, taper off your calories the day before, the day after, and probably two days after that. So basically, if you're thinking about Christmas day, taper off your calories Christmas Eve, and then Boxing Day and the 27th, so that you can kind of counter like the increase in calories. It's not that big of a deal, but it'll make you feel better, especially if you lower your calories from your carbs, especially. So anyways, look at this shit, bro. Look at this. Oh my God. I need a spoon for this shit, bro. Small spoon. Ugh. Oh yeah. Look at this shit.